Okay, hey guys, it's Weirdo MB99, and I'm doing another server tutorial. I did my previous tutorial on port forwarding, but this one will be on installing plugins for your server. This is actually very simple to install plugins, but uh, to configure your plugins and get them all working together, permissions and stuff is going to be more difficult. So for today we will be doing uh I'll do essentials and group manager and I'll do some simple configuration for group manager and how to start setting up your configuration. So we'll just search essentials on plugins.bucket.org. The the link is right here. And okay, so Essentials is a plugin that is basically tons of things. It has TP, you can set your spawn, time of day. It's really useful, it has tons of commands. And if you go here, you can see the command reference and stuff, the special permissions. And also, uh, hold on, let me. I want to go get group manager here. Um, they got kind of screwed up because they couldn't offer the download. So, are we not going to have a? Okay, here we go. Essentials group manager and essentials core. The essentials core you can download on this page that's taking me to right now. You just click download and you will get uh, these two files. So now we're going to go over to our server. So go to your plugins folder. Make sure there's no other plugins in there. And uh, open essentials and all you want to put in here is the jars just drop them in and then uh, for the essentials group manager same thing just copy the jars and place them in and now to install these plugins basically all you have to do is start your server once and it will come up with some errors because there weren't any configs but it generated them now stop your server and now go to your plugins folder and now you have the configuration so group manager uh, we're going to go ahead and configure this right now so you can see how to configure permissions because that's the hardest thing probably to do with permissions I mean plugins and it, once you get the hang of it it's really simple so what I do uh, you can do global configuration but most people like me do per world so you can have players have certain permissions in certain worlds so the config.yml isn't really that you don't need to change that so just go to worlds pick your main world users you don't need to touch that that will be automatic groups you go to this and group inheritance okay groups default default and that is the group name right here and make sure everything state keeps its spacing do not mess with any of the spacing and never use the tab button always use spaces so you see how all these are aligned keep them like that if you want to change the name you can do that so I can change default to starter but I'm just going to keep it default okay so it's default and will default means when the player joins they will automatically become this group and then permissions we're going to go into this so we'll give permissions like one tooth now with permissions uh, to give a to give a group a certain permission you can just click enter 
one, two, three, four spaces, that space, and then uh, we're going to make it so they can do slash bones. So essentials dot spawn. And then let's add essentials dot help. One, two, three, four. Essentials dot help. These are just simple commands that you want someone to start out with. And this is also, uh, do you want do you want your people to have to join your server and do something to get to like the builder rank? And the builder rank would be like have all of the like TP warps and all of those permissions or do you want once a per person joins they have all the permissions they need unless they want to be moderator or something so and then that will go into stuff like this so uh, your inheritance this is going to be what groups are they borrowing permissions from and that's going into some global groups you don't you can take those out of oh jeez what the heck I don't know. stop it okay you don't have to go into that if you don't want to. So, uh, we're going to go into prefix here, and we'll do and. Oh, sorry, and four. This is dark red. We'll put that, and then we'll put and. Uh, six. Default. You can you can do anything you want with this and four. It's dark red again. And then and two. We'll just make it that. And the build permission. This is this is for if you want when someone joins, do you want them to have to do something like uh, register on your forms to be able to be builder, and then they'll be able to build on your server. Do you want them to be able to build immediately? So we're going to change this to build permissions to true. And suffix. This is if do you want uh, something to come up after their name? So just to demonstrate, I'll put. Um, there and then that's all we really need and then admin permissions this is uh, if there's this after permissions that means that there are no spe specified permissions but this what I'm going to do here this means that they have I believe this makes you have every permission possible as owner has here okay so we're going to save that close that out and now we're going to start our server up and join Okay, so okay, I think yeah. Okay, so it says default high guy five is awesome. That uh that um that kind of looks bad because I didn't add a space or anything, but I was doing it fast so I could just show you guys an example of configuring permissions and installing it. So that's basically the gist of Group Manager. Now we're going to go into uh, what Essentials can do and stuff. So you can do slash set spawn and then you can use slash spawn and you will TP there. So that's if you want to join a server and do it. And then you can do slash help and that will list all the rest of the commands. So uh, I hope you found this uh, tutorial helpful. All you have to do to basically install plugins is drop the jar into your plugins folder unless you're doing a more complicated plugin and uh, for that you usually need a MySQL database but we're not going to get into that so uh, if you liked comment rate subscribe and see ya